Good afternoon, friends. It's February 16th, 2019. And the other day, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was convicted of all counts. The United States had brought him to court to face multiple counts. I believe it was 10 different charges. And the first count had multiple charges in it. And it took them about six days for the jury to deliberate, but they found him guilty on all counts, which was not surprising. What is surprising, that at one point during the trial, he started naming names. For instance, it was known long ago from the WikiLeaks, thanks to Julian Assange, the emails that he dug up, that El Chapo, as everyone knows him by his nickname, admitted to donating $15 million to the Clinton Foundation. Well, apparently during this hearing, he started speaking about all the other politicians that he has donated to in the past. Guess who else he mentioned? That's right, Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff. And we've always known that politics has been a pay to play game, but this might explain another reason behind why they do not care for a border wall. Because if there's a wall, then they don't get their cut for allowing the drugs to flow through our borders. He's not the only one that was mentioned. The ex-president of Mexico, Mr. Enrique Pina Nieto, the former president of Mexico. He told the court, Mr. Guzman told the court that uh, Mr. Pina Nieto came to him wanting a $250 million bribe, and El Chapo managed to settle with him for $100 million, and the former president accepted that, and it was hand-delivered to him. Well, as Mr. Chapo is starting to tell these stories, suddenly the courthouse was closed. No more reporters were let in. Need I remind you about the fast and furious scheme that our former Attorney General Eric Holder, along with Obama and Mrs. Clinton, while she was Secretary of State, allowed guns to be delivered through the ATF and slow walked, they claimed, across the border into New Mexico or into Mexico to the drug cartels, and they claimed that they were going to put RFID chips in these guns so that they could track where these guns went. No, they didn't. These guns were sent all over to the drug cartels, and unfortunately, some of them came back, as in dead bodies. More than 200 dead, including a United States border agent. Thousands of weapons in the hands of Mexican car drug cartels. Now, if it was any other person who committed such a crime, other than the former attorney general, and someone got murdered during the commission of that crime, he would be held responsible as though he had committed the murder himself. But this man never was even charged. And Brian Terry, a Border Patrol agent, was killed. He lost his life to Mexican drug cartel thugs who used firearms that Eric Holder and Mr. Obama sold to them under the Obama administration's policies. Don't ever forget that. They're not the only ones who died. This is Brian Terry. In honor of Brian Terry, may he rest in peace. But don't ever forget, 
with the Obama administration. And Eric Holder and Hillary Clinton as Secretary of State and all of their little cronies, including Nancy Pelosi and Adam Schiff and every last one of them who accepted donations from the world's largest drug kingpin, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. So if you got friends and family members who have drug problems, remember who to blame. Remember who to blame. Remember. Call our new Attorney General, William Barr, and tell him you want all these people held accountable. Don't vote for them again. Thank you very much. If you appreciate what I do, consider buying me a coffee. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. When you do subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications of the next time I make a video. Have a good evening.